Hey everyone, there are problems in orthodontics that can wait, and there are problems that don't really need to be fixed. If somebody has a mild degree of crowding or a little bit of spacing between the teeth, sometimes I actually give the patients the choice of whether they want to have it fixed at all. But there are problems in orthodontics that I feel strongly that we should fix just to avoid a lot of dental work in the future. And one of these problems is a deep bite. A deep bite is when the bottom front teeth disappear behind the top teeth when a person is biting together. When we bite together, we should be able to see half to two thirds of the bottom front teeth still. But when those bottom front teeth are hiding or completely disappearing behind the top front teeth, that's called a deep bite. As we grow older, the enamel on our teeth tends to wear a little bit uh, just from normal function, just from chewing. Uh, and that wear needs to be distributed more or less evenly across all of our teeth. And that's so that not one or a small group of teeth get too much wear um, while another group of teeth gets very little wear. And that's exactly what doesn't happen when you have a deep bite. Um, as a general dentist, I used to see older people than I do now as an orthodontist. And so I used to see a lot of patients in their 40s and 50s. And sometimes I would look at a patient's teeth and notice that their front teeth are worn completely flat. Uh, so I would think when I look at the back teeth that I would see a lot of wear um, on the back teeth. But then I would look at the back teeth and see barely any wear. Uh, so all of the wear really got concentrated on those front teeth. And that's because they had an unresolved deep bite when they were adolescents. And so the depth of the bite meant that the brunt of the wear will happen just in the front teeth and barely any will happen in the back teeth. And that's how they end up with a flat smile and sometimes chipping uh, or thinning of the teeth. And uh, patients would come in saying that their smile has been getting less and less attractive over the past few, few years. The problem is if we wanna fix it at that point, it would take orthodontic work to open the bite first and then we'd need to repair the chipping and the wear that took place in the front. And that's usually done by crowning all of the top and bottom front teeth. So we're looking at six teeth on the top, six teeth on the bottom. 12 teeth, 12 crowns at least, in addition to orthodontic work. So you can imagine how much dental work that is. And restorations, no matter how good they are, do have a lifetime to them, so they don't last forever. Um, and that always made me think, wouldn't it have been nice to have opened that bite when they were adolescents uh, instead of having to deal with it now in a more invasive manner? And so whenever I see a deep bite, I want to get it open. Sometimes there's no overbite or underbite, and it's just the depth of the bite that needs to be corrected. And still, I think that that's a good enough reason to go through orthodontic treatment. The way we fix deep bites depends. Sometimes we want to push the top teeth up, and sometimes we want to push the bottom teeth down. And sometimes we want to do a combination, pushing the top teeth up and the bottom teeth down. Kind of depends on the case and a few uh, features of the way that the case presents. But in the vast majority of the cases, it's hard to open a deep bite without full orthodontic treatment, both on the top and on the bottom. And so most of the time, if you or your child have a deep bite and you go to the orthodontist, the treatment of choice is going to be full braces on the top and on the bottom. And many orthodontists are more comfortable treating deep bites with braces rather than clear aligners, although that's been changing in the past few years. So I hope you found this useful. Have a great day.